Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Are y'all awake? Did you stay up to midnight? Show of hands, who stayed up to midnight or later, we'll say. All right, who went to bed by like nine o'clock? Uh-huh, nice, nice. Well, welcome to worship in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior born, the Word made flesh, God himself made manifest. Yes, I did rhyme intentionally. Uh, this morning gets to be a hymn sing. There are a few slides. There's no uh, bulletins per se. Uh, it's a laid back praise on this New Year's Day. <laughs> yes, I did it again. And before this gets too old, John Henry, you want to come on up? Before this gets too old, I'm going to pass it off to Eliana and Holy Commotion. They're going to lead us in worship this morning. And so Eliana gets to start us with an opening prayer. And so please rise as you are able. Yeah, they're coming up here. Okay, I'm going to start off with a prayer, I guess. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing everybody here this morning to worship you. Help us feel your love this morning as we begin to worship. We love and praise you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our first song is Joy to the World, but it's like a funky version of it. So um, please sing with us. Joy to the world, 
Joseph's lullaby. Um, please keep singing with us.
Our last song is Praise to the Infant King. Praise to the infant king, praise to the Son of God, praise to the Prince of Peace, praise to the Father's love, praise to the infant king. Glory to God in the highest, Christ is born. Son of God, praise to the Prince of Peace, praise to the Father's love, praise to the Infant King, praise the King. Amen. Well, thank you, Holy Commotion, and a round of applause, snaps and claps. Woo! Please be seated. Please be seated. Um, we get to have um, our hymn sing a worship this morning, so we'll get to have more of Holy Commotion singing. And actually, fun fact, you'll get to pick some of the hymns that we sing, because I think we all have our different Christmas favorites, and just know that that's coming. Before we get to that, though, I would love to invite our kiddos, speaking of, where's mine? Uh, our kiddos up for our children's time. We get to hear the story of uh, Simeon and Anna. This is one of my favorite stories from Scripture. Uh, and so let's hear that story. Jesus 
home to Nazareth. Jesus grew up in Nazareth. He became strong and wise, and God was always with him. And so can you imagine living here? Could you imagine living here? What if you slept here every single night? Would it be comfortable? Yeah, it would be comfortable, right? And you can give praise to God every single day, and then, yeah, maybe a little less comfortable. Have you slept a little bit with you before? That might be a little hard, right? And then to see the baby Jesus and to know that this is the one who's going to save the world, they waited and they waited and they waited. And so y'all need to learn more about Simeon and Anna in Sunday school time. But before you go, can I pray with you? All right, will you repeat after me? Okay. Dear God, we thank you so much. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, let's do it again. Start over. Start over. All right. Dear God, we thank you so much for Jesus, for your Savior, for our Savior. We thank you for Simeon and for Anna and all those who wait. We thank you for these kids and for the ways they get to learn and grow in you. Amen. Well, thank you so much for coming up here for our story time. And you'll get to head on Downstairs of the and our Sunday school teachers. Yeah. All right. And so head on out. Follow the woman in the tie-dye. <laughs> you can say with me, bud. Yeah, you can come back up here if you want. All right. You're up here. We get to share announcements with people. You ready? All right. So, uh, well, good morning. Good morning. Are y'all awake? I feel like our energy level for praise worship is usually up here. And I feel like this morning we're just kind of like, hmm, here. Is this, where, is this where we're at? We're just kind of chill? It is our PJ worship. So, like, like, some of us literally didn't change getting out of bed. Uh, I, I did because I wanted, you know, to have clean pajamas. I don't know if that defeats the purpose. But anyway, it is good to be here with you. I just want to share some of the ministries that our church is doing. Uh, first, uh, I want to give thanks for the two bouquets that are up here. Uh, they are from the funeral of Bob Mueller. Uh, continue to hold uh, Bob Mueller's family in your prayers, particularly uh, Jim Mueller, his brother. Uh, and so thank you, Jim, uh, for sharing these beautiful flowers with us. Um, our weather today is nice, but sometimes it gets a little bit choppy. I just want to reiterate, uh, please watch KTTC for cancellations. Um, there are new Christ in the homes back there. If you're looking for a new devotional, have any of you been doing Prophets and Promises? How's that been? Has it been good? Some of you are looking at me like this. No guilt. We offer them as a resource to help you grow in faith, not as something. You're right. And so uh, just know that there are Christ in the homes that you can also grab. Here, buddy. That you can also grab. And so if you're looking for a way to just kind of uh, continue in your faith and just have a daily reflection, it's a really uh, cool thing. Um, our annual meeting, this last announcement that I'm going to make, our annual meeting is January 15th. And so... Um, it'll be right after worship, so just go ahead and put that on your schedules. It, it's good to be church together. It's good to give praise to worship together. Um, the annual meeting is the time that we get to set the agenda and the tone and our hopes, uh, as well as our counsel for the next year. And so what is the thing that God is working through us? Because I believe that God is continuing to work through this people, and that church is not a building, that it's very much a people. Can I get an amen for that? Amen. All right, I think that's all that I need to say as far as like those like fun announcements. So if I could have Jeff the musical menu, woo! Can I get like a, a woo? woo? Nice, thank you. And so I'm gonna invite Holy Commotion back on up here. Can I get a bigger woo? Woo! woo! For Holy Commotion. And so you know, like I was saying, uh, we all have our favorite uh, Christmas. Songs. Can y'all read that from where you're seated? And so uh, we're going to pick them one at a time. Um, and I'll announce the hymn numbers if you can't see the numbers. 
and we'll just, we're going to sing six of them. And then at the very end, we might get a chance to sing a seventh if you really feel like your heart's going to break if we didn't get to sing that one hymn that you came here for. And so, would someone be willing uh, to shout out, like, what's, do you have a favorite hymn up there? What can we start with? 218 is Go Tell It on the Mountain. And so, holy commotion, take it away. The rest of us, 218, uh, usually we stand when we sing with holy commotion, but keep your seats, otherwise your legs are going to feel it. So 218, Go Tell It on the Mountain. Thank you for shouting that out. Let us sing. that Christ was truly God, but he did not try to remain equal with God. Instead, he gave up everything and became a slave when he became like one of us, that Christ was humble and that he obeyed God and even died on a Christ on a cross. Did you know that? I guess. Wow! And then God gave Christ the highest place and honored his name above all others. So at the name of Jesus, everyone will bow down, those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and to the glory of God the Father, everyone will openly agree that Jesus Christ is Lord. Did you all know that? Yes. Sure. That's amazing! And that also comes from a reading from Philippians chapter 2, verses 6 through 11. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so we get to pick another hymn. Are y'all ready? Was, that was good. Y'all did a good job. Thank you. I think, I think they did a good job. Should we have them sing another one? So we should sing another song of praise to God. Um, anybody got a favorite? 184. What child is this? That sounds like an amazing hymn. Uh, 184. 184. What child is this? Is 
Austin. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Austin, did you know that when the time was right, God sent his son and a woman to, gave birth to him? His son obeyed the law so that he could set us free from the law and that we could become God's children. And now we are all God's children. God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, and his spirit tells us that God is our father. Uh, so you are no longer slaves, you are God's children, and you will be given what God has promised. Did you know that? I think I did. You think you knew that? Did you all know that? Wow! What incredible news coming to us from Galatians chapter 4, 4 through 7. You're welcome. All right, uh, we get to pick another hymn. Where's my little one? All right, reading, singing, okay. Uh, another, another hymn. 214? 214? Can y'all do 214? Yep. All right, 214. It's their favorite. I, we're, they're glad you picked it. 214. Uh, still, 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 let us sing together. 214. Joy are singing, sleep. 
What? What did you do to her son? What did I do to him? Yes. I, I, I took a hymnal from him so that he comes sit by me. It's, it's, it's what you do. Hey, Zane! <laughs> Zane, did you know that God our Savior showed us how good and kind he is? He saved us because of his power and mercy, and not because of the good things that we have done, that God washed us by the power of the Holy Spirit. God gave us new birth and a fresh beginning. God sent Christ Jesus, our Savior, to give us God's Spirit. Jesus has treated us much better than we deserve. He has made us acceptable to God and gave us the hope of eternal life. Did you know that, Zane? That yeah. is amazing. That is, don't you think that is amazing? That is amazing, truly coming to us from Titus, chapter 3, verses 4 through 7. All right, next song. 182. Oh, come, all ye faithful. A fantastic pick. 182. And what number are we on? Is this number three? Four. Y'all have to help me keep track. Because I'll let you pick all of them. So somebody tell me when we've hit six. Let's sing 182, O Come All Ye Faithful. line so that was fun hey jeff's jeff's did you know that uh each one of you is a part of the body of christ and you were chosen to live together in peace so let the peace that comes through christ control your thoughts and be grateful let the message about christ completely fill your lives while you use all of your wisdom to teach and instruct each other that with thankful hearts sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God. Jeffs, did you know that? Did all of you know that? Yes. Wow! Coming to us from Colossians chapter 3, 15 and verse 16. All right, another hymn. You ready? Y'all hanging in there? Do we need a break? Are we good? Doing good. Doing good. All right. 
Uh, what, this is number four? Five? Fifth? Uh, four? This is five. Ah, number five. See? Y'all, this y'all is, can count. This is I've got to teach five. that guy to count, and just it doesn't look good for him, does it? <laughs> All right, so number five. Uh, what hymn? Do you have a favorite? No. No, you have no favorite. They get to pick. They get to pick. All right. One eighty-eight angels we have heard from high. Thank you so much. Uh, One eighty-eight hymn number five. commotion oh nancy (laughs) nancy hey nancy did you know that before the world was created god had christ choose us to live with him and to be his holy and innocent and loving people that god was kind and decided that christ would choose us to be god's own adopted children that god treated us with an undeserved grace because of the son that he dearly loves and that we should give praise to god did you know that nancy that we should give praise to god did you all know that all right and so that is a reading from ephesians chapter one four through six all right another hymn this is hymn number ooh, is this our last one yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Time is fun when you're having flies. All right, so what, what, what hymn should we... Uh, this, is, this is... We'll get to have one more. So if you haven't gotten to sing your favorite hymn yet, be bold, be brave, shout it out. If you're not feeling brave, tap your neighbor. Have them shout it out for you. Uh, hymn number six. I see some whispers. I see some passing of conversation. Anybody? 186, enjoy to the world. All right, so how about we do this? We'll do 186 right now, and we'll go out to joy to the world, right? Does that work? We'll do that. Thank you all. All right, so right now, uh, 186, silent night, holy night, one, hymn number 186.
beautiful, y'all. Last, did you know that? You ready? So did you know that Christ sacrificed his life's blood to set us free, which means that our sins, they're now forgiven. Christ did this thing because of God's gift of undeserved grace to us. God has great wisdom and understanding, and by what Christ has done, God has shown us his own mysterious ways. Then when the time is right, God will do all he has planned, and Christ will bring together everything in heaven and on earth. Did you know that, church? This is a reading from Ephesians, the first chapter, verses 7 through 10. And so with that, we're going to transition into communion. John Henry, I'm going to set you down. Can you go hang with Dexter? All right, go hang with Dexter. You can bring dog, too. All right. So if you've got your communion cup, <laughs> if you've got your communion cup, we get to remember that this is the thing that God has done for us. That in the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks. And he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it for all to drink. Saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. And so to gather together in this place by the Holy Spirit, let us pray that prayer our Lord Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so take and eat. This is the body of Christ given for you. And take and drink. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Hey, you know, usually we go uh, into prayer time and then have a communion, but this morning I wanted to go from that reading into communion. So we do have this time of prayers. And, you know, I'm aware that today is uh, a, a New Year's Day, that we start a new year this morning. Uh, and that comes with transition and change. Uh, some of us, it involves grief. Some of us involves joy and excitement. Whatever is on your hearts this morning, uh, we get to lift them to God. And so I'm going to start us off in prayers. But whatever you've got on your heart, lift up uh, as well. Sound good? Can I get an amen? Amen. And so, God, we thank you for this new year, for this new day this life you have given us. God, just keep guiding us and help us to live out your will to be a reflection of your love that we have come to know in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Lord, in your mercy. Other prayers. in your mercy. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, in your mercy. Thank you. 
Lord, in your mercy. Any others? I don't want to cut anybody off. And so, God, you know our hearts and our prayers, the ones that we lift up out loud, the ones that we just hold in our heart, that you, you know them. You know us. We are your children. You have adopted us through Jesus Christ, our Savior in the world, Savior of the world. And so we thank you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray and all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Hey, um, so there's one thing that is not in the slides that I always forget, uh, and, and that is uh, our Sunday schoolers to come and share what they were able to do, and we just got to welcome you all back, so welcome back. It is good to see you. Do you want to come share some of the things you're able to do? I'll slide this out. I'll put the microphone down a little bit. All right, let's hear what you've got. Today we colored... Today we, oh, what did we color? Mm -hmm. So who are these people? Uh, I forgot their names. Hmm. All right, so let's start with, who's this? Baby Jesus. So there's Baby Jesus, and there's some folks with some orange hair. And mine. And yours too, oh, you see, you colored them green. And then there's some folks with gray hair. Tell me, who, who are these two people? Why? Five? Yep. Okay. I don't know what to do with that, but five? Okay. Five, five, three. Oh, there's, there's five, five people. people. I got you. Thank you. I was like, I only see four, but I wasn't counting Jesus, and Jesus always counts. Ta -da. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, so we've got Mary and Joseph, and then there's Simeon and Anna, and these two people have waited their entire lives. Yep. Yeah, to, to meet baby Jesus. And you know what's fun? What? So I brought an extra special treat for snack time. I brought some king cakes back with me from Baton Rouge. And in a king cake, it's an epiphany tradition, it's a Louisiana Mardi Gras tradition, but it actually goes from epiphany all the way through Ash Wednesday because it is a time for searching for the infant Jesus. And so there are three king cakes back there, and each of them has a little baby hidden inside of them. Don't choke on it, please. <laughs> right? And we get to search for the baby Jesus as a part of our snack <coughs> time, too. And so we're looking for Jesus, too. Yeah. In our cake <laughs> and in the way that we live. Sound good? Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Well, thanks for coming on up here. Y'all get head on back your seats. I always love to see the things y'all have crafted in Sunday school. We get to sing one more hymn, and if I could invite the ushers to help me with offering, we're going to do off. Everything is out of order this morning. You're welcome. Uh, we get to do offering as a part of our sending hymn, and our sending hymn, if I correct me, my, my memory serves me right, is Joy to the World 179. All right, I, I know y'all were so excited to sing, let me find it, 196, and I'm sorry that that didn't happen. We're going to go out instead to 179. It's, it's okay, uh, Pastor. One, 196 is a little too real right now. That's kind of the weather report we've had for the last week. So, joy to the world, 179. Ushers, thank you so much. i 
of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of his love hey wouldn't it be funny if i had one more hey church yeah. wouldn't that be great if i did it's so great wouldn't that just be perfect to go out with one more little snippet of scripture yeah hey church God always does what God plans. And this is why God appointed Christ to choose us. God did this so we would bring honor to him and be the first ones to have hope because of him. Christ also brought you the truth, which is the good news about how you, how you can be saved. You put your faith in Christ and were given the promised Holy Spirit to show you belong to God. The Spirit also makes us sure we will be given what God has stored up for God's people. And then we will be set free, and God will be honored and praised. Church, did you know that? Pretty cool, huh? Can I get an amen? It's a reading from Ephesians, the first chapter, verses 11 through 14. And usually I would give a blessing at this uh, part of the service, but I want to give uh, share with you a poem by Dr. Maya Angelou instead as a blessing. And this is her poem, Amazing Peace, a Christmas poem. You ready? Thunder rumbles in the mountain passes and lightning rattles the eaves of our houses. Flood waters await us in our avenues. Snow falls upon snow, falls upon snow to avalanche over under, unprotected villages. The sky slips low and gray and threatening. We question ourselves. What have we done to so affront nature? We worry, God. Are you there? Are you there really? Does the covenant you made with us still hold? Into this climate of fear and apprehension, Christmas enters. Streaming lights of joy, ringing bells of hope, and singing carols of forgiveness high up in the bright air. The world is encouraged to come away from the rancor, come away of friendship. Come the way of friendship. It is the glad season. Thunder ebbs to silence and lightning sleeps quietly in the corner. Flood waters recede into memory. Snow becomes a yielding cushion to aid us as we make our way to higher ground. Hope is born again in the faces of children. It rides on the shoulders of our aged as they walk into their sunsets. Hope spreads around the earth, brightening all things, even hate which crouches breeding in dark corridors. In our joy, we think we hear a whisper. At first, it is too soft, then only half heard. We listen carefully as it gathers strength. We hear a sweetness. The word is peace. It is loud now. It is louder, louder than the explosions of bombs. We tremble at the sound. We are thrilled by its presence. It is what we have hungered for, not just the absence of war, but true peace. A harmony of spirit, a comfort of courtesies, security for our beloved and their beloveds. We clap hands and welcome the peace of Christmas we beckon this good season to wait a while with us. We, Baptist and Buddhist, Methodist and Muslim, say, Come, peace. Come and fill us in our world with your majesty. We, the Jew and the Janus, the Catholic and the Confucian, implore you to stay a while with us so we may learn by your shimmering light how to look beyond complexion and see community. It is Christmas time. A halting of hate time. On this platform of peace, we can create a language to translate ourselves to ourselves and to each other. At this holy instant, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Into the great religions of the world, we jubilate the precious advent of trust. We shout with glorious tongues at the coming of hope. All the earth's tribes loosen their voices to celebrate the promise of peace. 
we angels and mortals, believers and non-believers, look heavenward and speak the word aloud, peace. We look at the world and speak the word aloud, peace. We look at each other and then into ourselves, and we say without shyness or apology or hesitation, peace, my brother, peace, my sister, peace, my soul. And so, dear church, go in peace. Can I get an amen? Amen. Future worship leaders right here. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Go in peace, dear church. <laughs> Thank you much. <laughs>